Royal and humble greetings to each and every one. The Tosa Wars, or the Cape Frontier Wars, a series of nine intensive battles spanning more than a century, from 1779 to 1879, making it the longest running military action in the history of European colonialism in Africa. The Eastern Cape of South Africa became a stage for a monumental clash between the Tosa Kingdom and the British Empire and Trek Wars. But beyond the battlefield, simmered a tapestry of tensions and rivalries among local chiefs that the British used to their advantage, shaping the course of history. Let's unravel this historical conflict and look into the captivating tale of resilience, conquest, and colonial intrigue. The origins of European colonial settlement in South Africa all starts back in 1652 when the Dutch East Indian Company set up a small supply station in Cape Town. Initially, just a pit stop for merchant ships heading to and from East Indies and Japan. Cape Town grew quickly with Dutch, German and Huguenots immigrants, becoming a blasting settler colony. Now we have a video called Grotowa. Make sure you watch it. It talks more about the arrival of the Dutch East Indian Company and Jan van Yerbeck. As settlers expanded eastward, they bumped into Tosa communities near the Great Fish River. Tensions fled as the Tosa, already living in the area and tending to their cattle, clashed with the newcomers. These tensions sparked the Cape Frontier Wars, fueled by disputes over land boundaries. Despite attempts to mark the Great Fish River as the colony's eastern boundary, many settlers ignored it, leading to the outbreak of the First Cape Frontier War. The First War erupted in 1779 between the Boer frontiersmen and the Tosa. It all started with accusation of cattle theft by the Tors, leading to armed clashes. The Cape Governor then declared the Great Fish River as the colony's eastern border, despite closer communities already living west of it. Commanded by Andrian van Jarsveld, who was a Boer commander for the first border war, Boer forces were tasked with pushing the Tosa eastward. They resorted to force, attacking closer settlements and looting cattle. During the meeting with Tosa chief Jalamba, Van Yarsfeld distracted the Tosa with destroying their tobacco trees before launching a deadly attack resulting in significant casualties. His armed forces did not only kill and displace a lot of Tosa people, but a lot of sand people too, who were living around the Siakoi River. Now these Tosa communities that had first contact with the colonial settlers were Amakwali, Amambalu, and Amantinde. Amambalu were founded by Langa Kapalu. Amantinde were founded by Ndinde Kaduku, who was the brother of Ndonde Kaduku. And Amakwali were founded by Kwali Kachiwo, who was the brother of Palo Kachiwo. Despite the violence, Many Tosa people returned to the area, showing resilience after Van Yarsveld disbanded his forces in 1781, leading to a cycle of displacement and resettlement. <laughs> 